it re was recorded by the Crickets first, and we recorded in New York City for an album called In Style with the Crickets, and then uh, it was picked up by various artists. And the first hit was the Bobby Four, Bobby Fuller Four, mm -hmm. which is a Texas group, and that's uh, been recorded by Hank Williams Jr. and the Clash and a lot of other people. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I, tell you. I, I, I tell you what's really, really weird is that. <clears throat> I didn't really think of myself much as a songwriter in those days, and I never wrote it down. <laughs> it really scares the heck out of me because that's my major number one copyright. Mm -hmm. And I just had it in my head, you know, and we were on our way to New York City to record that album. And uh, Buddy Holly had just died uh, about just a few days uh, before that, and uh, we were going up there to record that, that song at Bell Sound in, in New York. And we were desperate for new songs, and uh, we. Uh, I said, well, listen to this one. It was a kind of a country song, and I said, I, I think I remember this. And I did, I fought the long, yeah, that's one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that one. We'll do that one. We'll do that one. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And, uh, and Jerry Allison and I uh, sit in the back seat. We had a, a 59 Oldsmobile, and Jerry Allison was the drummer in the group, and we were trying to write another song, and we wrote a song called More Than I Can Say, which was, was whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, and it's like, it's like, Thank you.